All right, we are back with some more of the best of 2018. And today we are going to be talking about some of your favorite training videos from 2018. All right, first up, we have a pretty cool behavior out of the downtown aquarium uh, in Denver. And this is an armadillo ultrasound. So uh, this armadillo is actually an ambassador animal. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, that means that she is trained to come out and be an ambassador for other species, uh, for members of the public. Now, this armadillo is trained for some really cool stuff. She goes on a mark voluntarily, and that lets her trainers and the public know that it's okay to touch her on her back. She also does a cool A to B on the stage, and she creates voluntarily when she's all done with her appearances. So they figured, why not try to train her uh, for a voluntary ultrasound behavior as well? So let's watch. Oh, Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Just the spine on the right side here. So this here. Mm -hmm, this baby. Spine is on the right side. Many of you already know that I am 100% otter obsessed. Now I'm going to show you a video next about some otters that came in with some very special needs. Due to some issues early on in their lives, they actually had metabolic bone disease which is a thinning of the bones to the point that the bones were almost see-through. Now with some physical therapy, creative training, and determined trainers, their situation turned right around. So watch the success story now. All right, next up we have my own personal favorite, which is actually my dog, a Mudflap. Mudflap is a 10-year-old Great Dane. For those of you who don't know much about Great Danes, he is living on borrowed time at this point. And the veterinarians believe that he has what's known as wobbler syndrome, which means that he has an instability in his cervical vertebrae that causes him to be a little bit off balance. So it's really important that he builds up his quads, hind end muscles, and his sense of proprioception, which means that he knows where his feet are going and what they're doing. And sometimes there's a bit of a disconnect from here uh, to his back legs. So this wobble board is a great way to get him balancing and using that fine muscle, uh, his quads, his abs, and everything in between to help him balance on 
on this wobble board here. Now, the wobble board's pretty special because my husband actually built it to size for Mug Flap himself because they just don't really make anything um, Great Dane size. This porcupine is actually trained to weave through the guests legs. Now many people have misconceptions about porcupines that they can shoot their quills. So this is a great way to show off that that is a little bit of a myth and that porcupines cannot actually shoot their quills and you don't have to be scared having a porcupine weave through your legs. The last behavior I want to share with you guys is a really awesome behavior trained at the Nashville Zoo. Now this RSRE, which is a small kind of bird related to toucans, is actually trained to engage the guests and get them excited about the animals that they're going to meet. Now this is a tactic we animal trainers use to pull as many people in so that we can let them hear our message to help us save wildlife and species all over the planet. And Nashville Zoo did a great job with this RSRE. This is early on in the training and this is a group of docents and volunteers getting to experience this behavior for the first time. But the bird is trained to hop down everyone's arms and then it gets its reward at the end of the chain of people. I think it's a really awesome behavior because it really engages the public. They get to actually feel the bird on their arms and the bird is demonstrating exactly how it would move around in the rainforest. So it's showing off all of its natural adaptations and abilities for us right here. Isn't it amazing? I hope you are inspired to get out there and get training in 2019. If you're really excited about getting better at your training, starting training, improving your training, fine tuning your skills, you have got to check out our Basics of Animal Training Challenge. It's a 10 day challenge and each day you are going to receive a new lesson in your inbox. It's a short two to three minute video with short homework assignment associated with it. Through this challenge, you're gonna reorient yourself with the bridge, how it works, make sure it's working perfectly for you, review your reinforcers, make sure you're maximizing any reinforcement that you have, really taking a look at motivation and what's going on with your animal, and of course, you're gonna write a training plan. And we're gonna teach you how to be a splitter. And we're gonna teach you how to write a training plan that is so detailed that you will have every bit of confidence that you know what your next step is when you're going to train your animal. So check out the basics of training challenge. All the details are right below this video and we'll see you with our next best of 2018 series.